So in my UE5 project, in my content folder, I've created a new folder and I called it movies. Now through the Windows folder browser, I have navigated to the same folder. So content folder, then movies, and I'm gonna copy and paste my video file into this folder and then I'm gonna drag it into my project. The reason that I've put the file, the source file, into the movies folder via the Windows browser is that it has to be there to get packaged up into the project. If it's in a folder outside of the content and movies folder, it won't get packaged up. So now that I've got this video file in my project, the easiest way to add it into a level is just to drag and drop it in. Once it's been placed into the level, it will become a media plate. And if you select it in the world outliner or in the level, you can go to the details and it has various options, autoplay, you can enable audio if you've got any sound with your video. And if you scroll down a bit further, it's got aspect ratio and we could change this just to 69 DSLR. And then I'm just gonna make it, scale it up and make it a bit bigger. And now if I hit play and run over to it, the video plays. And it's that simple. As you can see, that's really straightforward. So that's the easiest way that you can add video to your level. If you wanted to add a video to a static mesh, all you need to do is right click, go up to media and media player, add a media player where it says video output media texture, tick that box and then click OK. In the media player that's just been created, just rename it to MP video. It will create that texture. Right click on the texture go up to the top and create a material and just call this M video. Now what we need to do is just add that to a plane. Or in this case, I'm gonna add it to a plane. If you've got a static mesh of a TV and you've got a material slot for the TV screen, you can just add it there for the simplicity. I'm just gonna add it to a, a plane. You could always add it to a plane and then place it in front of a TV as well, and that would work. So now I've done that, I'm going to drag this material onto the plane. Now this won't play, if I just hit play, this will not work at first. The reason is because we have to play the video, and to do that we can turn this plane into a simple blueprint. So with it selected, Go over to the details panel and at the top of the details you've got this kind of schematic icon or the diagram icon. Click on that and it brings up the option to convert it to a blueprint. We can just click on harvest components and we can keep with static mesh component. But for the name we'll just call it BP, so underscore BP. Let's call that video blueprint and then just click a, a select. and. It'll open up the blueprint. We can just select the plane and then rotate it. So I'm just going to select the rotation gizmo and I'm just going to rotate it to 90 degrees. Then I'm going to select scale and drag that out just so we get a widescreen ratio. It's not going to be perfect, but for this, I'm just going to eyeballing it. Then hit compile and then go into the event graph. So beneath the event begin play node, just delete those two other nodes because we don't need them. So drag off of event begin play and search for open source. Untick context sensitive and just click open source. The media source is gonna be the video that we've just loaded in. And target, we need a media player. So to add a media player, go to your variables, click on plus, change the name to media player. And where it says Boolean, just click on that and then search for media player and select media player object reference drag that in select get media player and plug that into the target now hit compile and with the media player node selected in its details where it says media player just make sure you've got the media player selected and if you happen to have audio with your video as well in the components panel click on add and search for media sound. Select media sound and again in its details, make sure you've got the media player selected. 
So hit compile, save. We can just dock that blueprint for now. I'm just going to rotate it back into the angle that I want. I'm just going to resize it a bit as well. So when you hit play, the video plays, but what you may get is a distorted ratio. So if I go back into the blueprint, even though it's looking correct in the blueprint, that's the actual plane that sits within the blueprint. And this is back in the level. This is the blueprint. So we're going to have to adjust the rotation and scale of the blueprint as well just to fix that. What you may also find is that the gizmos, the scale gizmos, don't align with the weld and you can only orientate this in local space. If you try to go to world space, it won't allow you. So <clears throat> if it does do that again, I mean, it's very straightforward. Just use the Y axis just for the height and the X axis for the width. And then hit play. And then it's looking fine. Okay, so that is done. And now the final section, the final part of this video is how to load a video in a widget. So before we go any further though, we're just gonna open up the material and we're gonna change its material domain from surface to user interface. And just make sure the RGB from the texture sample is plugged into final color. And then hit apply and save. And that's all we should need to do there. Right click in the folder go to user interface and widget blueprint select user widget at the top and then call this WB for widget blueprint and then just call it video widget open that up where it says top left hand side uh, palette search for canvas and then just drag that canvas in we can leave it at its default settings for this the next thing if it's not undocked, make sure your video um, widget or your widget, sorry, make sure your widget is undocked. And then just drag in the material and just place it on top of the canvas panel in the hierarchy menu. And it'll appear in the top left hand side. Make sure that's selected. And then in its details panel, for size, put in 18, sorry, 1920 by 1080. And that's just full HD. And we can also anchor it. So click on anchor, bottom right hand side, just select anchor to the screen. So that just helps keep it full screen. Then hit compile and save. Now we're gonna go into the graph. We're gonna drag off of event construct and we're gonna search for open source. Select that, where it says media source, select the video. And then we need a target, which is going to be a media player. So just click on variables, click on media, uh, sorry, change the name to media player, click on Boolean and then search for media. And then we want media player and object reference, drag that in, get media player, plug it into the target. Now hit compile and just make sure in the media player, in the details, you've got media player selected or you've got the media player selected. If you don't, this won't work. So hit compile and save. That should be all we need to do with this now. So we're just going to dock that. We just need to trigger this widget now. So we can right click and create a blueprint and then click on actor and then call this BP video widget. That should be fine. Double click to open it up in the components. Click on add and collision box. There's different ways you could trigger this, but for this, we'll just use a collision box. And I'm just going to scale this up a bit because that will be too small. What we want is our player, our player character, to be able to overlap with this collision box because this is what will trigger the widget and then the loading of the video. That should be fine. We can always adjust the size in a minute when we bring in the blueprint into the level. Now go to Event Graph where it says the box in a component panel. Right click on it. Add event on component begin overlap. So when our player overlaps with this collision box, we'll trigger the widget. So just drag out of the top white arrow. That's the execution arrow. And then search for create widget. 
in the class, select the widget we've just created. So that would be what well, search for video. So that's the WB video widget. And then drag off again off of the create widget node and search for add to viewport. So it'll add it to our player viewport. And return value, just plug into target. So when our character enters this um, collision box, it will load up the widget and play the video. When we leave the collision box, we can stop the video from playing. So you can right click on the collision box, add event, and then on component end overlap. And then drag off and search for remove from parent. Just untick context sensitive to find that. And where it says target, just dr drag off from the widget node. So I've got another tutorial which explains how you can automatically remove a video from the viewport. You can also disable and enable the player controls while the video is playing. I'll link to that video in this description. But for this video, it's just a very simple setup. So hit compile, save, and then drag the video blueprint from the content folder into the level. I'm gonna hit play, and I'm gonna run over to this collision box, and it plays the video. Now, if I leave the collision box, it removes the video. Okay. That's it. So if you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them. And I hope this helps. Thanks.